this is Chestnut. This is Yardcore 8 with Katia Manigan. Um, they have a bunch of plots. You might know them as Katia Racer um, and all the racetrack that she's done since like, she's been in the game. Um, today we're going to visit her plot on Katia Manigan. Um, and she doesn't have a microphone, so we're going to do sort of like we did with Proxima. Um, I'm going to turn off my mic, we'll talk and say, when you see the video, it'll be sped up, and there'll probably be text-to-speech person talking for Katia. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm always looking for volunteers, so please sign up! Alrighty! Welcome to Catville. I'm excited to see it. I see lots of pretty trees. Shall we head out? For sure. Catville's a mountaintop township in Algarok. It was founded by several orphans from Thade, myself included. Oh wow, this lake is beautiful. I devote a lot of my time and resources to forwarding the village, so I myself am homeless and rough it out on the outskirts. It's not much, but it's cozy. I'd love to stay in a place like this. Ah ha ha, I used to be a street orphan, so this is a big step up. This is the Catville Courthouse, where we discuss running of the town and settle disputes. We've never had a problem with any serious crimes, thankfully. This is Vendor Alley, where traveling merchants show their wares. Though we always try to convince skilled craftsmen to stay. It looks like a bunch of awesome craftsmen sell wares here. It's pretty full. Yeah. It's a scenic town far from the front lines, so a lot of people like to visit. I love all the cobblestones. This is the residential sector for some of the more well-to-do citizens. The sign is awesome. Also home of stews, witches, and brews, our town's most popular sandwich shop. The town is filled with many areas designed for RP. We have a fresh rotation of sandwich cuts, soups, and drinks every day. I love the plants for the lettuce, it's clever. And how you've sunk the meat and cheeses in to look like cuts. It's always good to experiment with sinking decor to achieve different looks. Booth seating is fully functional. It's a lovely view. Thanks. The manor house is still on the market. Nobody's moved in yet, but we can sneak in to get a high view of the town.
Oh, wow. Who wouldn't want a view like this? This will be my home someday. If the decor limit ever goes up again. Hopefully they will. This is the Craftsman's District. It also has the entrance to the Undercity. We will come back to that. All of Catville's food is homegrown. Oh, look at this ranch! And this is the non-denominational interfaith chapel. Beautiful in here. It's open for weddings and services. We were going to have an RP wedding here a few weeks ago, but the couple broke up beforehand. First stop, the under pub. Oh wow, this is an expansive pub. Our most popular tavern. Also where I crashed some nights, the barkeep is very nice. We sometimes convert this new book into a hot pot or fondue booth. I love how you turned the posters into cards. Yes. Posters are very versatile pieces. I want a fireplace like this. This is very cozy. These are great for sitting and warming up or sleeping a night. Well, sleeping for all in any way I'm sure a granite could make it work. It's funny to watch them try. And this is the Catville Theatre House. It's beautiful in here. We are currently trying to assemble an acting troupe for regular shows. Contact me if interested.
These are posters too. Very versatile. Oh, wow. We have events in here sometimes, but have yet to put on a full-blown play. It would be amazing to see a play in here. The lights are positioned so they can be quickly angled to highlight any part of the stage. Seating for 50-ish, this is a smaller scale version of my former theater house that seated 350. This is so cool. My mind is totally blown. I had to accept we were never going to have a show for 350 people. Ha. I love the dressing room. Actors' rooms can be a little cramped. Haha, <laughs> someone left a bra. Actors are messy folk. This hidden route gives quick access to the Undercity for events. I love the hidden route! I never would have realized. That's our town. I hope you enjoyed the tour. So what made you get into housing in Wildstar? I know you've been like the racer person since Avindra. I loved it. I haven't seen many towns before. Haha, ha. I love the freedom of creative expression Wild Stars housing gives you. People definitely have some creative plots. I first got to Sky Map in Evendra and saw people's creations. It quickly became my favorite activity in the game. Asrin, Demus, and Malzek were some of the early ones I saw that inspired me, but there have been many, many more since. Since Mega Service, it's been great to see all the talent out here. Yep. And since the 1K decor increase, it's been possible to make things of a much grander scale. So I know this plot changed from what it was first going to be when I saw it. Uh, it was something different. So how has it changed? Yeah, the increase has helped a lot. Oh, earlier on it was the Digu Lodge, a tribute to Zelda games. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I'll have to check it out. But in truth, I was using that as practice to learn my way around the massive umbrella trees that make the terraforming possible. Do you have any tips for huh. new builders? It seems like you've done a lot of plot building. The first and foremost is, visit a lot of plots. learn a lot, and no great plot happens without inspiration and learning from other great plots. Also, play around with every bit of decor. 
It can be used in unexpected ways when you look at them upside down, or partially covered, or weird sizes. I know you've also been building a housing add-on. Can you tell me more about it? Is it something that would help newbie builders? Definitely. It's called the Cardio Builder Toolkit, and it's up on Curse now. It fixes a couple bugs that plague housing, and provides some powerful tools that I use to make things like the curved bar tops in the tavern. It definitely sounds like something builders should look into. There's a short demo slash tutorial video on the curse page and currently in the official housing forums that will help people learn how to use it. Oh wonderful! Some of the bugs, working with some pieces is a terrible headache without it. I've heard some horror stories, though I hope people are putting in bug reports so that Carbine can fix it. Yeah, they caused me so many problems, I started writing little add-ons to help me get around them. And eventually decided to package them all up for everyone to use. That's awesome of you to do that for the community. We have a wonderful community in housing. I like to help push it forward in any way I can. So if folks want to get in contact with you, what's the best way for them to do so? Twitter, forums, and game? Use wscaudia at gmail.com for Wildstar related correspondence, or you can always find me in game. All of my alts are Caudius. Awesome. Most commonly this one, Kadia Storky, who runs a decor shop especially useful for new builders, and Kadia Eraser, the racetrack owner. Oh, so tell me about Storkeep quick for those that don't know. It That'd be a great newbie builder tip. She runs an IKEA-style store that lists a huge inventory of decor. It's great because you can see them in person, so even if you don't know what you want, you can find it. It's staffed by over half a dozen different players, who will all make you anything there at any price that works for you. And it's very sweet of the folks who help to stock it. Like I said, we have a wonderful, and very generous, community in SkyMap. I agree wholeheartedly. Again, thank you for the tour and the tips and all of that. Thank you. Awesome. I really do appreciate it.